गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑफ द पोएम समर सन एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द पोएम एंड वी वर डूइंग द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अप टू हियर नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू What do you think the poem has chosen summer as a setting for the poem so what is your thought about that the poet has chosen summer as the setting for the poem that why he has chosen only the summer as the setting for the poem so just write down the answer write down the poet has chosen summer as a setting for the poem the poet has chosen summer as a setting for the poem because it is the season it is the season when the clouds are away because it is the season when the clouds are away the sun is the strongest the sun is the strongest flowers and trees are in full bloom during the summer flowers and trees are in full bloom during summer the poet call the poet calls the sun the gardener of the world the poet calls the sun the gardener of the world in winter in winter people do not pull the curtains in winter people do not pull the curtains to keep out the sun to keep out the sun so what does the poet explain through this question the poet explained that in summer what is happening the sun is so much close yes and what the clouds are so much far and the rays of the sun is so much strong whereas in winter what is happening the rays of the sun are not that much strongest and what does the people do they do not hide their curtains so that the rays of the sun cannot reach to their room what they do they open their curtains while while in summer what does the people do they just close the curtains so that the rays of the sun cannot enter in the room understood now next question question number 3 do you agree with the poet when he refers to the sun as the gardener of the world justify your answer so now you have to explain that do you agree that the poet refers the sun as the gardener of the world so just write down the answer yes i agree with the poet yes i agree with the poet that the sun that the sun is the gardener of the world that the sun is the gardener of the world the sun is the source of all energy on earth the sun is the source of all energy on earth when the sun's rays are not as strong when the sun's rays are not as strong plants die or shed their leaves when the sun's rays are not as strong plants die or shed their leaves so what does the poet refer in this question why he refers in the poem that the sun is the gardener of the world because as you know very well that it is impossible for us to live if the sun is not there because with the help of sunlight 
what we got we get vitamin d yes as well as plants can also not live without sun yes or no if the sun rays are not there then what will happen the plants will die or they will shed their leaves so that's why the poet refers the sun here as the gardener of the world because the importance of sun is very necessary in our life so dear students the question answers have completed now let's go through the exercise so here personification what is personification yet he will find a chink or two to slip his golden fingers through in the lines given below the poet refers to the sun as if it were a person using the pronoun he and him for it so here he has used the pronoun he and him and the poet refers here to the sun as the sun is a person so this kind of reference is known as personification so what is personification personification is when we speak or write about a thing an idea or an animal as if it is has human qualities the things that had human qualities or when we speak about a thing idea or an animal so here identify the personification in these rhymes given below so you have to identify the personification first i am a little teapot short and stout here is my handle here is my spout so what is the personification here i am a little teapot short and stout next rain rain go away come again another day little johnny wants to play so what is the personification here rain rain go away come again another day next the deep grass moved and whispered and bored and brushed my face it whispered in the sunshine the winter comes apace so what is the personification here the deep grass moved and whispered and bored and brushed my face so dear students just underline it now next third question use your imagination to complete these personification prompts so you have to complete it the moon arrives at night write down the moon arrives at night next the trees waited for the rain to come the trees waited for the rain to come next the angry fire swallowed the angry fire swallowed everything in its path everything in its path fourth the clock looks as if it were standing still as if it were standing still the clock looks as if it were standing still s t i w l l next beauty lives in the eyes of beholder beauty lives in the eyes of beholder b e h o l d e r next the wise owl thought about the problem for a while the wise owl thought about the problem for a while again i am repeating the moon arrives at night the trees waited for the rain to come the angry fire swallowed everything in its path the clock looks as if it were standing still beauty lives in the eyes of the beholder the wise owl thought about the problem for a while 
सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल द एक्सरसाइज एंड क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर लिविंग द वैली एंड समर सन सो प्लीज कम्प्लीट दिस इन योर नोटबुक थैंक यू